Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the start of the season for the Skybet Championship. Took me a while to get that off my tongue. Skybet Championship. And first of all, let's... Uh, I've actually like not played the game in the while. So I need to refresh myself. So let's have a look at pretty much everything to see what changed. So if you look at the club info... We're gonna just see how steady our progression has been the last few seasons. It started off very, very slow, and then we just seem to be going up and up and up. This season, we've um, we're gonna try out our expanded stadium with over eight thousand capacity. Um, I have a feeling we've changed affiliates again. <clears throat> yeah, we're back with Chelsea now. With a bit more, with a, a little bit more money, uh, back with Chelsea. Um, I went through the, tra the transfer se season. Well, I suppose we're still in it, but uh, yeah, I went through July with Liverpool as as our senior affiliate affiliate. Still, we didn't find any players that were suitable on loan, so we swapped over to Chelsea. There was one goalkeeper that was a, a good um, solution for us. But for some weird reason, they were still asking for a loan fee. I thought, I thought usually they loaned out players to us for free. But anyway, so we couldn't afford that particular goalkeeper. But yeah, but other than that, not really found any players from the senior affiliates yet that would be useful for us. Um, uh, ta -ta -ta, let's look at. The transfers next, I suppose. So as far as transfers, we haven't made many. Uh, it's kind of a usual amount, really. Um, but yeah, so we, but we did make a few changes because, uh, mainly because um, last year we had a lot of loans. So this year we needed to fill those gaps, I suppose. But other changes as well. So let's have a look at the notes. So this is the exciting bit. You get to see the notes as well. So here we are. At the moment, we um, have this squad. There are a few players that will be leaving. So those are loans that I did at the very beginning of the transfer season. But then I changed my mind and i getting someone else. Uh, so at the end of the 28 um, days, which I think I've already done actually. I might have to go, go up back and look at it but I think I've already sent I think it was just Connor actually yeah, yeah I think it's just Connor anyway starting from the top we still have Tom Yates as one of our goalkeepers however we're now in a position to offer Vince a first team position he's going to probably become our main keeper I'm going to start off with Tom Yates for now but Vince is Quite, it's quite likely to become our main keeper for this season. At right back, we have the same setup as last year. So we're going to have uh, Richard South on loan from Brighton. And also Anthony uh, Ralston as the backup. In the meantime, I did have this kid called Connor Forrest. Oh, he's still around. I think he's only around for today and then he'll leave tomorrow. So I did. I did have this kid, and he's, he's you know, all he's promising and all that. But um, Richard South gelled quite well with our team, so he was available on loan again. So I went and got him. Uh, Richard uh, and Connor will go back to Rangers, but he was a very good loan. I was, you know, quite happy to keep Connor any other day. Um, on the left, we have still have Rico and Max. No changes there. Uh, center of defense, it's a bit of a mix. So we still have Gordon Harkness and Brad Hills. And we um, also went back uh, and got Kaya back into the squad. So Kaya was on loan, I think, yes, last year. Oh, no, he wasn't. But he was just hanging. He was. I was about to sell him, essentially. And then I thought this year, well, let's keep him for one uh, another season. And we went and got this kid called uh, Neil Slatery 
on loan from Southampton. Uh, so he's going to be uh, around the first team as well. That's centre of defence. For at the halfback position, we still have trusty Alan Jardine. He's developed. He's still very young, so he's still developing for us. And we went and got Tom Quinn uh, from Northampton. And he's going to be the second half back. Uh, so they're going to be fighting off to secure the more permanent position. Mike Davis, unfortunately, still around. <laughs> I wish I could have improved on Mike Davis. And we actually went back and got Simon Parnell back from the under 23s to be in our main squad again. Uh, this is going to be a position that most likely will get an improvement in the January review. Uh, for the right wing, we have two new players. First, starting off with Jack Pickering from our own very youth. So he's been promoted from the under 23s to our main squad. He's going to be playing in the first team from now on. And then we also went out and got this other kid who I've been chasing for ages, by the way, about, about two seasons now, maybe more. Antonio sent from Cabo Verde, from Cape Verdean. He's Cape Verdean, that's what I mean. Um, quite a cool kid. He's, I can't remember where he was before. Wolves. So he was from Wolves and then he went to Rotherham. And since then, I think we've been trying to get him ever since he went down to Rotherham. But yeah, so he's with us now on a permanent contract. Um, Connor uh, McGregor, he's not, he's still around. He's not being sold yet, but he, I do want to sell him at some point. Uh, right, on the left side, just one new player. So we still have Mark Dodds, obviously. He's currently injured. But we do also have... Uh, at low knee, Glenn Middleton uh, to be our backup and he's actually currently playing because Dodds is injured but again this is a position that will you know, continue to get improved um, we'd released Diogo because he was out of contract in the shadow striker position uh, we've lost uh, you know the, the two big players that we had uh, they were both low knees, so you'll remember the Chaos was a low knee. Uh, obviously, he's now left, and we were left with Jan, which is all right, but not that great. He was our backup Shadow Striker. And we went and got Finley as well. But they're both sort of backups, so I don't really have like. <laughs> I don't really have a, a player that I'm really happy with for this position, which is you know, sad. A little bit sad. And this season, Miles is still around, and we went and got uh, Craig back from the under 23. So we've done a swap, a swapsy again. We've promoted Craig to the senior squad, and we demoted Neil to the under 23s. Craig's been a bit of, playing a bit of a yo-yo. He was with us uh, for one season, then we demoted him to the under 23s at the end of the season I think or, yeah, or maybe he spent a season there I can't remember anyway last season he spent most of his time in the end of 23s and now he's back so he's just a bit of a he's developing he had a big injury last year which kind of killed off his season which is why he spent the rest of the season in the end of 23s because uh, his bravery dropped like crazy but it's back now so he's ready to play in the first team again and that's all in f as far as transfers. No other business there. We did get some nice income from a couple of things we could not avoid. Um, one of them is actually not here. So I think the previous. Yeah, so we we had a couple of players poached. Um, so one of them was uh, Harry K Casey. We've got quite a bit of money, f uh, potentially even more, uh, for him. He's gone to Bristol, and uh, then this season we have Ian McDonald getting poached by um, uh, Charlton. So we've got some nice income there, which helps a lot, let's say. It helps a lot, because finances weren't great last season, and now we're no longer in the red. We will get in red again very soon, because we spend, we spend a lot of money, but... Um, 
so we can see that we've already excuse me we've already spending quite a bit with youth and player wages that will only continue to add up as far as income our, our big income is um stopped now so season tickets is all done and dusted now so we won't be getting any more income from that sponsorship also as well done and dusted now gate receipts will still tick over player soul obviously done and dusted tv revenue revenue that will take over as well so our big income that got us out of the red um let's say it's like a one-off once a year so the regular income from gates uh from gates and tv uh won't be enough to keep us afloat i don't think but anyway we've done quite well uh let's jump into a match shall we so let's have a look um I've selected the team, but I have not selected the tactics. So let's have a look. I usually just follow advice. Um, that seems to have worked for me in the past. I'm going to continue to do it. So the um, coach is saying that we should not focus down the left and not use tighter marking. Uh, more width. Okay, low crosses, early crosses, and as default it goes to cautious, so we're going to put it back to positive as it was before. And we're playing against Huddersfield, Huddersfield um, has also been promoted with us I think, or maybe not, no, they promoted the um, season before. For the preseason. We had a mixture of results. So we had, um, you know, quite decent matches. Not not many of them though, but we we did have quite a good mixture of results, uh, including two games away. I think, yeah, that one and that one. That one for Pollock, if you'll remember, he was one of the original players for from Hereford back way back at the beginning of the save. Um, before we jump into the match, one last thing to do that we always do. Let's look. At the preview, you probably can probably guess where we are. At the bottom, very clearly favourites to be relegated. Uh, so we're going to try very hard to not fulfil that. Uh, as far as the board is concerned, you know they're just happy for us to bravely fight against re uh, relegation. Nothing else is expected, really. Let's jump into a match. Uh, position instructions and obviously like all pre-seasons I work a little bit on uh, individual training so I've, I've done all I think I've done all of the yeah all of the individual training including the youth teams uh, I've slimmed down the youth teams as well to 22 players each and I've also, I think I've finished the, all of the staff, so I'm making sure I've got all the coaches I need, that all the coaches are doing the right training on the pitch, also getting all the rest of the back um, background staff as well, so physios and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, so that's kind of the prep that I do before. I actually do, I start on staff before I start on players. Because I think the better staff you have, the the better players you will attract in the transfer season anyway. So, yeah, I start on staff first and then I start on players in the preseason. Before I even start on staff or players, I usually do the youth uh, and also work on all the individual training for the youth. And uh, under 18s, I actually do way back before the season, the previous season ends. When I get the new intake, I usually sort that out uh, at that point and then do some small tweaks if necessary in the beginning of the season. And then, yeah, over the summer, I do the under 23s. But yeah, so the, the big news, I suppose, this, this week, I'm not sure if you've heard of it, is that. It sounds like FM22, is that was that what the next version is? FM22? Yeah. FM22 will now feature uh, 
fully like a full world with women's football as well and it sounds like they're not gonna they've they're fully going to integrate it and add all these new features because women's football is, is quite different than men's football is quite unique as well the characters have to be quite unique as well um so yeah sounds exciting i can't wait to try it out to be honest uh that that's that's a like a good thing because to, to be honest i don't really follow women's football it's a bit sad to say but that's, that's just the truth so um i think playing football manager and playing the women's football leagues alongside the men's football leagues um i think will introduce a lot of people to get, to get an interest in women's football which i think is great so uh, well done for Sports Interactive to get on board with that because I think it's a great way, great, great way to promote the sport. It's definitely going to get me looking more into women's football. So so far we are drawing. I haven't really seen many highlights. To be completely honest, maybe I was talking too much, but. I haven't seen any highlights. Uh, right, so let's change. Yarn uh, with Thunder. His name is not Thunder. Thorned. How do you say that? Thorned like. Thorndike. Oh, it's a D, not 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 an L. Thorn Thorndike. Thorndike. I'll get it one day. Thorn Thorndike, I think that's his name. Was his first name? Finley. Finley is a lot easier to say, so I might stick to Finley. Oop, ah, that could be dangerous. So uh, Forrest is playing just one match for us before he goes back to his club. Highlights, they're fine. We're not losing. This is good. We're favorite to lose, I think, all the matches. And we're not losing, which is fab. There we go. We secured our first point. We've got one point in the Skybet Championship. We are, as a, as a club, we are not ready at all to be in the Skybet Championship. By no means. We don't have the staff. We don't have the money. We don't have the facilities. We don't have the interest of good players. Well, our players aren't that bad, but yeah. So we're not prepared at all. So the fact that we actually got a point is fascinating. Um, yeah, so what I'll do... So the plan is... So here goes Connor back to his club. Thank you so much for the one match, Connor. Um... Yeah, so what I'm going to do now is obviously do what I usually do, which is um, progress in the league for quite a few months. So I'll probably come back just for the January review, uh, either whilst I'm in the middle of it or just after it. Uh, and then I can show you how well or how badly Hereford will do in this league at the current level that we're doing. To be honest, because our team is quite it's quite they're quite a close group let's actually look at this actually they're broken down into two groups now but yeah these two groups i'm sure they will merge at some point because we haven't made that many transfers and the core group is there we have um some of those players have been our even in our youth ranks for quite a lot of years fun fact brad hills and kaya Actually, I don't know which one. Are they, they came in the same season? 
24 for Kaya. 25, 26. Ah, oh, I, thought, I thought they were with us from the very start, but that's not true then. However, Kaya, even so, so Kaya has been with us since the 2023-2024 uh, um, season, which we still spent three seasons in the Vanarama North. So Kaya and Brad Hills have both come through with us all the way from the bottom league to the league we're on now. So they've done really well for us. So they've been with us a long time. Dodds, um, yeah, national when he first joined. He went away for a while and then he came back. Uh, see if there's anyone, I don't think there's anyone else. Simon, maybe? Simon, I think has been with us a little while, but maybe not as long as those two. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so Kaya and Brad Hills are um, defense. Uh, they've been with us a very long time, and they're both obviously um, leaders within the squad for that reason. They've been with us ages now, and the group, the group itself, they, they've been working together for a while. Most of those players have got, have done a couple of years now, at least in the club. So I feel like even though. As a club, we're not ready for this level because the players get get on so well and they know each other so well. So if you look at the tactics, we should have cohesion going on, in theory. Uh, oh yeah, he's, he's new. They don't know each other that well yet. So because he's new and he's just come from the other 23s, and actually, I think it's more because he's on loan. Uh, but yeah, so we already have cohesion and relationships forming. Um, so we should, I, I want to say, we should not get re relegated. We should avoid relegation. Could do better than that, I'm not going to promise. But um, yeah, I d we spent two seasons in Skybet League, Sky League 1. I suspect we'll be spending a similar amount of time, uh, possibly more, in Skybet league uh sorry skybet championship so yeah anyway put your bets in the comments if you want to uh yeah thanks so much for watching give it a like if you've enjoyed and if you have been enjoying the episodes and you haven't subscribed yet then you can you can subscribe so you get notified when a new one comes out it's uh twice a week tuesdays and thursdays usually sometimes it varies a little bit because of work but um yeah try to keep it consistent and if you haven't checked out the Patreon, you can check it out. The link is in the description. You'll see the credits at the end with our one amazing Patreon that uh, sticks with us. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, and other links as well in the description that you can check out. Have a very lovely morning or afternoon or evening, whatever time of the day you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.